What's your dad's name? Matt Reed. Matt Reed? Does he have a nickname? Yeah. What's his nickname? Boom Boom. Perfect, with an apple in your mouth, you can still say it. Boom Boom. So we're sitting here in the home of Matty Reed, Kingston. Uh, I think Kelly just ordered us some uh, Indian food and we're just gonna have a little chat, right? Is that right? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, no problem? All right, question number one. One word to describe yourself. One word to describe myself. Uh, tall? <laughs> tall, that's true. How tall are you? Uh, six foot five. All right. And I've been uh, six foot five since I was 15 years old. Wow, so you're always the tall kid in class. I was, yeah. And, um, you know, I was kind of into basketball back then too. So I was thinking I was actually going to grow a little more and uh, maybe become a professional basketball player. But um, I, I considered six foot five, you know, not really tall enough. Um, I would have had to have been a guard. And you know, I wasn't that great at dribbling and all that sort of stuff. So, um, and I got really small hands. I can't hold the ball, and that really annoyed me. So, uh, <laughs> that probably annoyed your teammates too. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. But um, I chose uh, I chose triathlon because I was into a ton of different sports, and you know, with triathlon, I get to do three of them. So uh, I was pretty pretty fortunate to get into triathlon. Nice. And uh, to go along with the tall thing, have you ever met a competitor as tall as you? Uh, you know, there's been a few uh, that have been uh, pretty close, like 6'4", um, but they seem to have gone away. Yeah, um, they're scared of you. Maybe, yeah. Here, where's the oddest place you've ever spent the night? Uh, the oddest place ever? <laughs> um, that would be easy for me to answer because um, <clears throat> one time I was, I was flying back through America from my European season and... Um, I, I didn't have a lot of money. I actually probably had no money at all. Uh, so I was trying to pick the cheapest uh, hotel, or I thought it was a hotel, um, but it was actually a hostel, I think. But yeah. it was more of a, a homeless hostel. And, uh, so it was a homeless shelter? I think it was a homeless shelter. Because when I got in there, there was uh, about eight bunk beds. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it was... Was it free? Uh, I can't even remember how much it cost. If it was free, yeah, it was I, definitely a homeless shelter. Uh, I think <laughs> Did they give you soup in the morning? I slept with my arms around my bag so no one would take it. And uh, I woke up in the morning and someone had taken my watch off really? my wrist. Yeah. And uh, it, was a, it was a nightmare, actually. I, <laughs> Did I was, you sleep at all? I was kind of young, so a little, yeah. bit, a little bit scared. And um, yeah, I was so tired, so I did, I did sleep. But yeah, it was one... One experience that I would wow. never do again. When you were in high school, did you dream of being a triathlete? Or was it the basketball player dream? Yeah, um, definitely high school. I was, uh, especially my last year at, at high school, I, I was actually, I was doing pretty well with my grades up until uh, grade 12. Uh, I believe all my chosen subjects were, I was getting A's, which was, uh, you know, I liked science, I liked, um, you know, physical education. Mm -hmm. And uh, art, okay, I well. loved art. Um, so I got all A's in those, and um, yeah, B's or whatever for the other ones because I didn't really care. I showed up on a, on a day where there was this big bus and outside the school, and I'm like, oh, what's the bus for? And uh, it was for cross country. And because I didn't show up in the oh, mornings, okay. I didn't know that cross country was on that day. So I had my black leather shoes and my you know my my school uniform and. And I, I told the teacher, look, I, I'm a runner, that's what I do. You know, I need to go on this bus, I need to do this cross country. And, uh, you know, he knew that I was a runner, so I didn't need my permission slip. And um, got on that bus and, you know, I went and won the, the uh, cross country race. And leather shoes? And yeah, and leather, and leather shoes. Dress shoes, wow. If you were required to race in a costume, which costume would you choose? Hmm, costume. <laughs> Um, which you can't yeah. choose Scooby Doo because that's my costume. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I race for a company called Champion Systems, and uh, they can make whatever costume you want. They can wow. print on whatever you want, and it'd be kind of funny to get a costume made up of being uh, completely naked. <laughs> so, that would um, be good. Everybody'd be like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. Is so it... you'd get a lot of a lot of looks and. Uh, uh, it probably wouldn't be appropriate. You'd be a giant it. naked man, like the six foot five tall 
naked. Yeah, gangly. you'd be naked, but you really wouldn't be naked. Yeah, so, it would uh, look pretty. Wow. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be pretty good. How did you get your nickname, Boom Boom? Oh, my nickname, Boom Boom, came from uh, Chris McCormack. I was swimming in a swimming pool. We were doing a thousand meter time trial with this, with a guy that I used to train with, uh, Matt Clark. And uh, about 500 meters into it, uh, we went side by side. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to go for it. And uh, I went, went boom and, uh -huh. and dropped him and uh, finished the thousand meters. And then we we're talking to Chris and, and uh, he said, um, geez, man, when you went 500 meters, you went boom. Uh, you know, okay. We're going to call you boom, boom. So, nice. so that's a boring story. And then uh, the next. I think your dog's trying to break in here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Give me a high five. All right. Thanks for sitting with me, and uh, we'll check you later. Maybe we'll get a beer next time. Sounds great. Let's fun. do it. All right, cool. Where is your dad? Where is he? Do you know where he is? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Who runs the house? You? Are you in charge of everything? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.